Hello and welcome to Knife Delights and welcome to another edition of Two for Tuesday. It's an open tag that every channel is invited to participate in. And uh, just grab any pair of knives you've got and uh, do a little video talking about them. It's a really fun and easy open tag to do. Today I thought I'd uh, focus on a couple of budget knives. And uh, for those who are familiar with Menards, Menards has a line of knives that uh, goes by Guidesman is the name on them. As far as I know, these are sold exclusively at Menards. You can, uh, If you don't have a Menards store in your part of the country, you may be able to order them online. So these are truly budget knives. I, it's been a while since I bought them, but uh, I know they weren't over $10. And so what we have here on the right is what they call or have named the Drover. And on the left here, what they call the Settler. And it's a two-bladed jackknife. And this is a Stockman pattern. Now both of these knives come in 420 stainless steel, uh, satin polished blades, have a brass frame and wood grain handle. And yes, they are both made in China. And it does have the little um, warning down here. So RJ, please do not lick these knives. They could give you cancer if you did. So... We'll take a look here at the Drover first, and uh, it's not a bad looking knife. Uh, the wood grain uh, covers there, you got three brass pins, and they're pretty smooth in there, not too bad. The, uh, of course you got the brass bolsters, and there's a pretty smooth transition there. We'll turn over and look at the back, and we can see the brass liners. And it is pretty smooth. No big gaps or anything. There, one little rough spot on the brass. And that might have been because I dinged it up or what have you. But no big deal. No big deal. So yeah. Now, I will tell you in opening. It is kind of a soft opening. But the walk and talk's not too bad on it. It does have Guidesman here on the main clip point blade. But it's not too bad. Like I said, it's a light pull. Sorry, had a little dog hair there. I got dog hair everywhere. We finally got him trimmed, but boy, does he shed. Oh my goodness, it's still there. Is that on my finger? Yeah. <laughs> See? Extra bonus. I don't even charge for that extra bonus there. Extra footage. So anyway, that's what the clip point blade looks like. Not a bad clip point. And then, as is typical with a stockman, got your sheep's uh, sheep's foot blade there. I did add a little oil here. The pivots should uh, probably be cleaned out. I haven't gotten that far yet. And then that's their spay blade for it. Okay, I can hold up the back of the clam pack here for you. It gets all the specs on it. I will hold it still there, so if you want to pause the video and check them all out. But again, uh, 420 stainless, satin polished. It's 2 and 5 eighths uh, straight clip point, 2 inch sheep's foot, and a 2 inch spay. And wood grain, the, wood, the weight is 2.86 ounces, and it's 3 and 7 eighths inches closed. And six and a half inches overall. So that is the Drover. Turning now to the Settler. Again, it's a two bladed jackknife. There's the small, like, pen blade on it there. And here's your clip blade. Again, it's got the billboarding on the blade. Not not a big fan on billboarding, but uh, you no, know, this is a budget knife. They want to put it on there. That's fine. It'll wear off soon, quickly, I suppose. But it's got the same features. It's got the wood grain covers and the brass pins. And again, the transitions are good. Uh, the pins are even. And they're seated properly. You don't really feel them. So not bad on the fit and finish. You can turn it over here. We can see the uh, 
back springs there, the brass liners. Again, no big gaping holes or anything in the uh, in the back springs. Pretty smooth all around. Not bad. Not bad at all. Again, both of these knives are less than or ten dollars or less. There's a little blemish there that could probably be polished off, but uh, yeah, not a bad looking knife. And the action on this one's actually a little better. Again, the pivots might could stand some cleaning, but uh, I put a little oil, but not bad walk and talk on it. There you go. So, there you go. That is the Guidesman Settler. And we can check out the specs here just real quick. And again, 420 stainless, satin polished, 2 and 5 8 inch straight point clip. And one and eleven sixteenths straight spay. Oh, they call that a spay. Oh, I was thinking it was a pen blade, but they're calling that a spay. Huh, that's different. Different kind of a spay there. Well, almost, to me, almost looks like a drop point. But anyway, that's what they're calling a spay. So the weight on it then is 1.94 ounces and the length here uh, three and a quarter inches closed and five and nine sixteenths overall. So there you have it. We have the Guidesman Settler and the Drover. Now these are the only two uh, traditional slip joint knives that I have seen come out of Menards or out of Guidesman. But it's kind of neat that uh, yeah, they're putting out some traditionals. Traditionals must be making a comeback. They must just be making a comeback. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there's a little blemish there where the pin is. I don't know if that would polish off or not. But again, this isn't meant to be a collectible. It's meant to be, you know, an inexpensive work knife. And I just was wondering uh, what you, the viewer, think of these kinds of knives, these budget knives. What's handy about these is if you're in the store and you're picking up, you know, supplies for your latest project and you need a knife real quick, well, you can pick them up and they're inexpensive, very inexpensive. So that will complete my review here on the Guidesman. Please leave me a comment on what you think. And I do want to just take a moment, uh, a time here. Uh, my wife and I just returned on, on a trip uh, unfortunately we had a death in the family and I just want to say thank you to everybody in the knife community a lot of people uh, you know sending their con their condolences and keeping us in prayer and folks that's one of the greatest gifts of all and on behalf of Mrs. Delights and Mrs. Knife Delights and I if I can say this right on behalf of Mrs. Knife Delights and I I just really want to say thank you until next time, have a very delightful day.